Ferguson, Missouri continues to be a flashpoint one year after the death of 18-year-old Michael Brown, an unarmed black man who was shot by a white police officer. As VOA's Ken Frabot reports, declaring a state of emergency in the U.S. city did not stop clashes between demonstrators and police during a second night of unrest. As night fell on Ferguson, Missouri, no justice, no tensions between demonstrators and police escalated once again. Dozens of protesters repeatedly defied police orders to stay off the street. and stop traffic on West Florissant Avenue, the scene of riots and looting over the last year. As further unrest marked the anniversary of the shooting death of Michael Brown, some in the crowd in Ferguson, not far from the spot where he was shot, felt the awareness stemming from that incident has empowered them. So they say what we're doing is excessive, but the, kid, the death of Mike Brown brought an issue that's been swept under the rug to the light. The activists, the protesters, the people who are really down for change, a lot has changed with them. Like a lot of us have been awakened in a way we couldn't even have imagined. But for as much change as Tiffany Sean welcomes, she says some things have stayed the same. Put your eye past them, protect them. Not a lot has changed with how the police are reacting toward us and behaving with us. Not a lot has changed when it comes to that. The beefed up police presence in Ferguson comes one night after officers shot and seriously wounded one suspect they say opened fire on them, leading to charges against the suspect and a state of emergency declared in St. Louis County to stem further violence. Those on the ground in Ferguson for another night of protests shrugged off those concerns. Violence is going to happen. I don't want to minimize it at all because it's a problem. No one agrees with it. but. It's, it's going to happen regardless. And when you have a body of people this large, you know what I'm saying, it's bound for there to be people who, know, who don't like each other, you know what I'm saying? In the face of flying water bottles and rocks, police moved quickly to keep large numbers of protesters from filling the streets and stopping traffic, something they accomplished on a busy highway earlier in the day. This is a lot milder than last year. I mean, last year it was unexpected. It was a large body of people, so it was the outcome was a little more dramatic. You know what I'm saying? This is more positive than last year. Police have appealed for calm as more protests are expected. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Ferguson, Missouri.